If your main aim is gaming, you of course can't forget about the graphics card. Getting the best possible gaming CPU won't help you much if your GPU is underpowered and or out of date. We've listed down the top 5 best CPUs for gaming and their key features, plus the things to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are available in the description. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, columbiaflorist.net. Number 5. AMD Ryzen 3 3300X The Ryzen 3 3300X unlocks a new level of performance for budget gamers with 4 cores and 8 threads that can push low to mid-range graphics cards to their fullest. This new processor wields the Zen 2 architecture paired with a 7 nanometer process to push performance to new heights while enabling new features for low-end processors, like access to the speedy PCIe 4.0 interface. The 3300X's 4 cores tick at 3.8 GHz clock rate and boost to 4.3 GHz, providing snappy performance in lightly threaded applications like games. AMD includes a bundled Wraithspire cooler with this processor. Still, you might consider budgeting in a better low-end cooler to unlock the full performance, particularly if you are overclocking. Speaking of which, the Ryzen 3 3300X can overclock to the highest all-core frequencies we've seen with the Ryzen 3000 series processor, making it a great chip for enthusiasts. Unlike AMD's other current-gen Ryzen 3 processors, you'll need to pair this processor with a discrete GPU, but the low price point leaves extra room in the budget for a more capable graphics card. You can stick with the value theme and drop this capable chip into existing X470 or B450 motherboards, but you'll lose access to the PCIe 4.0 interface in exchange for a lower price point. Better yet, AMD will have its new B550 motherboards on offer in June 2020. These new motherboards support the PCIe 4.0 interface, but provide lower entry-level pricing that's a better fit for this class of processor. Number 4. AMD Ryzen 5 3600X Out of the box, the Ryzen 5 3600X is the best processor in its price range for gaming and productivity, marking a massive shift in the mid-range. At stock settings, the Ryzen 5 3600X regularly beat the more expensive Core i5-9600K in both categories, albeit by slim margins in gaming reversing the long-held trend of Ryzen being the best for productivity while Intel ruled the gaming roost. If you're into overclocking, the Intel processors are going to deliver more performance, but you'll have to provide your own beefy cooler to get there, significantly adding to the cost, while AMD includes a capable, attractive cooler in the box. The majority of enthusiasts looking for a fast, set-it-and-forget-it processor that can handle common computing tasks with relative ease will find incredible value in the Ryzen 5 3600X. Number 3. AMD Ryzen 7 3700X If you're truly only concerned about the best gaming CPU and basic productivity tasks, you can skip down to the Intel Core i5-8400 and save yourself some money. But if you're thinking of getting into game streaming, you occasionally edit a video, or just like the idea of having more threads available when you need them, AMD's Ryzen 7 3700X is an incredible value. It delivers twice the threads of the Core i7-9700K at a lower price, while sipping less power. And while that Intel chip will deliver higher frame rates at 1080p with a high-end graphics card, if you step up to 1440p or higher, the frame rate differences tend to even out as the GPU becomes the bottleneck. Either processor will easily deliver triple-digit frame rates at 1080p when paired with a capable card. So unless you have a high refresh gaming monitor, you may not benefit from the extra frames the 9700K can push anyway. There's also support for PCIe 4.0 to consider, and the AMD chip ships with a capable and attractive Wraithspire RGB cooler, while Intel makes you bring your own to the i7 or i9 party. The value seekers among us will appreciate the CPU's backwards compatibility with lower-priced X470 motherboards. Number 2. 
AMD Ryzen 9 3950X. High-end desktop processors have long offered the ultimate in performance, as long as you are willing to pay the price. Aside from high MSRPs, the chips also require expensive accommodations like beefy motherboards and the added cost of fully populating quad-channel memory controllers. Add in the inevitable trade-offs like reduced performance in lightly threaded applications and games, and any cost-conscious consumer who could benefit from the threaded horsepower of an HEDT chip would just be settling for mainstream offerings. Now, AMD's Ryzen 9 3950X with 16 cores and 32 threads brings HEDT class performance to mainstream motherboards, lowering the bar for entry. The 3950X carries a $749 price tag, but that's downright affordable compared to competing HEDT processors. We generally don't recommend HEDT processors for enthusiasts that are only interested in gaming. Gamers are best served by mainstream processors, with fewer cores and higher clocks, that are often faster in games. The Ryzen 9 3950X also falls into the same category. However, if you're after a chip and platform that can do serious work seriously fast, but still be nimble enough to deliver high refresh gameplay at the end of the day, the Ryzen 9 3950X fits the bill like no other CPU before it. Number 1. Intel Core i7-9700K 9th Gen If you can spend over $400 on a CPU for gaming, our favorite gaming CPU overall right now is the Intel Core i7-9700K. It dominates thanks to its 8 cores and excellent single-threaded performance. It's a much smarter choice for gaming than the pricey Core i9-9900K or the iGPU-disabled Core i9-9900KF. It serves up similar gaming performance at a significantly lower price than the i9s, making it the best gaming CPU you can buy today. That said, at about $100 less with an inbox cooler, which Intel's unlocked CPUs lack, AMD's Ryzen 7 3700X is arguably a better value for gamers on a tight budget, especially if you're gaming at or close to 4K resolutions, where frame rates tend to even out between Intel and AMD. Did this video help you find what you're looking for? If so, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Have a good day!